All right, we move into the EPE competition here at State College Pennsylvania at Recreation Hall. Bob Goldshaw and Bruno Santo Nocito bringing it to you on ESPN, and we are going to look at Joe Metcalf from Cal State Long Beach. He is that tall one in the center of your screen, stands about 6'5 or so. He will be fencing against Vladimir Zlobinski from Columbia. Zlobinski, a junior from Kiran, Israel. That is Metcalf you're looking at. He's a senior from Palos Verdes, California. He finished first in the Western Regions this year. His record coming into this tournament was a very impressive 36 and 8. And his opponent, as you look at him, Vladimir Zlobinski from Colombia, a native of Israel. He's a junior. He finished 19th in the NCAAs last year. Vladimir Zlobinski. And we've seen him before, Bruno. We certainly have. What we see now is the director testing the weight of the point in Epe, and um, the rule states that the point must support at least 750 grams of pressure. That's the director, Erwin Bernstein, current president of the Amateur Fencers League of America. Erwin is from New York City. He did his college fencing at Columbia. So just to set it for you once more, on the left, the tall Joe Metcalf, who incidentally, uh, is supposed to do extremely well in this competition. So is his opponent, really, Val Vladimir Zlobinski. Vladimir had a, uh, an outstanding year in his conference and uh, coming into this tournament had finished third in the ECAC championships just last week. Up, we saw some outstanding fencing and foil. Earlier, I think we're going to see the same sort of Okay, Metcalf scores the first touch. Zablinski pushes. You can see it very clearly there. Metcalf lunging and scoring in, in the chest area. So one nothing Metcalf. Zablinski clearly the aggressor in this bout. Both fencers were hit that time. And in Epe, Bob, you can score. Both fencers can score simultaneously. Okay, we're going to see that simultaneous touch. Zablinski pushing. He tries to take the blade, extends, but releases his opponent's blade, and both hit together. So it is 2-1 in favor of Metcalf, since they each get a touch for that. Slobinski again on the offense. He's pushing. Being shorter than Metcalf, Bob, it's important for Vladimir to uh, fence closer distance, just like that. Very similar, Bruno, to a fighter with a shorter reach getting on the inside. And just as you mentioned that, it is Lubinsky who scores the touch, and we are tied at two all. Five touches wins. First bout for both fencers. They're both a little tentative at this point, but probing for weaknesses. In the background, you see three other mats being used. And the touch that time is for Zlobinski, and he leads 3-2. As Metcalf makes his attack, watch Zlobinski parry the blade Close the line and hit Metcalf on the arm for, for a valid touch. Bruno, which is more important, quick hands or quick feet in this Epe event? I think both. I think you have to be both uh, agile and, and quick on your feet, and you have to have the hand to be able to pick up the opponent's blade. Vladimir on his toes and bouncing around. And that makes it 4-2, or rather 4-3 then. A double hit, I believe. Watch Vladimir, he moves forward again. He tries to pick up the blade. As he completes the action, he releases Metcalf's blade. They both hit together. Vladimir looking at the lights. Two fencers from 3,000 miles apart. Slablinski from Columbia University in New York and Metcalf from California State in Long Beach. All of them meeting here at Penn State. I don't think Slobinski should be um, 
moving back, I think he should continue the aggressive game. It's been successful for him up till now. He shouldn't he shouldn't change the game. Sound the bugles, hmm? In charge? That's right. <laughs> Let's see. I think he's getting ready. Both fencers keeping excellent distance from each other, keeping the point close to each other's guards, looking for an opening either on the wrist or arm. And I believe the timer, Bruno, has signaled one minute remaining. That's right, and, and maybe we should explain that, Bob. In fencing, there is four minutes of fencing time. After the first three minutes, uh, the uh, scoring table will tell the director Here's the attack from Metcalf. Slobinski will pick it up in what's called a counter parry. Moves the blade away from the target area. You'll see the repost come in from the side. No points are given in that. It still remains 4-3 in favor of Slobinski. Obviously, the director's decision that time was that Metcalf was already past his opponent before the touch was scored. You can't score once you're past your opponent. Again, no score, it, <clears throat> excuse me, remains 4-3. Is Metcalf a bit unhappy, I believe, with the non-call that time? Remember, five touches wins it. Incidentally, the number that you see on the uh, fencer's mask is really for the benefit of the patrons uh, here at Recreation Hall. They have it listed by university and alphabetically. In other words, number one is Baruch College, number two, Cal State Long Beach, right down to number 50. So since it's so tough to distinguish fencers with the masks on, there it is, right on the board. And Zlobinski, I believe, scores the fifth and final touch. Let's see. Yes, he does. So Vladimir Zlobinski wins the first bout in the Epe competition. Hey, look, Coach Bruno, you said when he's aggressive, he's...